You think I've been stealing government secrets? Preposterous. Absolutely preposterous. So, in response to the defense's accusation, you claim complete innocence, do you? Well, of course I do. I've had to stand here in silence while that pretentious foreign lawyer has been prattling away. Excuse me, did you call me pretentious? Me? <laughs> Compared to almost everyone else in this room. I'm, the, I'm like wearing just a straight <laughs> cloak of black. Everyone else has the most loud outfits in the world here. <laughs> Then by all means, counter the charges, sir. Great encounter. <laughs> the prosecution demands the witness testifies in response to the accusations brought by the defense. Delighted, I'm sure. The witness is reminded that the crime under scrutiny is this trial, in this trial, is the murder of the pawnbroker, Mr. Winderbank. That being a most flagitious offence, for That's which the law of this land sanctions a capital punishment. I gotta look up fucking flagitious. Uh... Criminal or villainous. Okay. I love that word, though. Yeah. It's it's describing a person or their actions as an adjective, and it's criminal or villainous. Huh. Well, we all... the Hey, new vocab word for everybody. We learned something today. Everybody, try and use flagitious one time until next week's stream. <laughs> and report and, write a book report and tell us how you used it in a sentence. Yep. Yeah, give us a give us a three hundred page report on how you used flagitious. Jesus, Wes. <laughs> <laughs> They're not trying to get published. <laughs> Unless you are, then more power to you. Yeah, man. Beberoni, that's good. A most fergalicious crime. <laughs> that's it's very definitious. Makes the boys go loco. <laughs> Uh, very good. Oh, that was very good, Beverly. <laughs> Thank you. But the heinous act of high treason is no less serious a crime. I urge you to bear that in mind as you testify, Mr. Oh, Graydon. So good. Finally, Aged Lemon says, makes the boys go low cum. Fucking incredible. <laughs> so good. Yeah. Mmm, that's tasty. Mm-mm. So then, let us proceed. You may... Oh shit, was that a Graydon? What the fuck? <laughs> These guys! We're back! <laughs> you gotta let us have a rabbit and pork here, Governor. We got things to say! You cannot eat in my courtroom. <laughs> I'm not <No>. sure, Gregson. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's special police privileges. <laughs> I, I beg your pardon? Who do you think you are? Name's Nash Skulkin. Occupation is professional baddie. Name's Ringo Skulkin, but we ain't baddies enough to sell out our motherland. That's right. We're what they call. <laughs> the three Skulkin brothers. Why are they on this side of me? <laughs> <laughs> Bad timing, fellas. Very bad timing. I really wanted, when Nash said, we're professional baddies, I wanted Ringo to go, and I'm a professional daddy. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. You know, you get paid for that. Uh-huh. Yep. Also, why did they just insert themselves back in for Graydon's testimony? And why did Probably nobody actually because... stop it? Yeah. 
Yeah, probably because as he's saying something, they're gonna go, hey, and then we're gonna have to go, excuse me. Yeah. Right. And they do realize that's a mechanic. Downfall. They do realize it's a mechanic that involves no like skill or <laughs> logic. Yeah. It's just being able uh -huh. to look at your screen. So it's mm -hmm. not a particularly yeah. good mechanic. And no, no, Pridge, I totally agree. I think the mechanic of like having multiple witnesses and pointing at one and saying, "Hey, you made a noise." Is right. Not, when it, the noise is not good game. Visually. Play locatable on the screen yeah. and thus yeah. nigh impossible to miss yeah. yeah apollo justice does something that apollo justice has a really good mechanic where like a witness has a tell and yeah. you have to like examine their character model to like see like something twitching or something like different that happens on a lie and you have to like find the statement where they are probably lying and then find their tell which i think is a really good puzzle that's, but, yeah, that's actually cool this this one, yeah, it's just exactly. asking you to use your eyes and see a word and see a thought bubble yeah. blatantly no, pasted I on agree. the screen. I agree. Again, it's like they've added so many characters, and a lot of them are really good. It just seems like they were like, we need to use all these characters because we've made so fucking many of them. Mm -hmm. A <clears throat> mere communications officer couldn't possibly steal confidential government information. Besides, the sounds produced by that music box are to even Morse code. It was some low-class brickmaker negotiating with McGilded anyway, was it not? I've no relation to the man. Look, all we done is okay. break into the gaffer like the other night, like what he told us to do. If we'd known there was dodgy government secrets involved, we wouldn't have touched it. I like that. Ringo we may be criminals, but like... we're not traitors. Um, <laughs> Mr. and Mr. Skulkin. What, well, Mr. Old Duke Gabner? What's up? Do I take it that you now admit to the crime? That on the night in question, you did indeed gain entry to the premises illegally. And moreover, you did so as a party of three in collaboration with Mr. Graydon here. <laughs> mm, let me think about that one. Oh, shit. We did it, Gov! We did it! We go home now. <laughs> yeah. Wait. Quiet. I feel, like we've, I feel like we've casted so much doubt on this case that we should just go home. What is quieten down? It's, I feel you could tell me it's like some oldie English shit. And I yeah, really I guess. Way of saying quiet, probably. Yeah. yeah. Quieten down, please. What say you to that, Mr. Graydon? I have no idea what these two ruffians are referring to hey man can we just see your shoulder i know right mm -hmm. you little like, rotter getting us mixed up in all this monkey business like is this not enough evidence to at least arrest great and demand, mm -hmm. demand a doctor look at his shoulder yeah, yeah. <laughs> we should be able to go home now you never said nothing about no government secrets it was supposed to be a straight up job and what about the geezer whose shop it was, eh? Poor old bloke didn't have to die, did he? Oh. Nice to know who your friends are. <laughs> yeah, that's funny. Whatever these men say, I deny the accusations. <clears throat> Indeed. Well, I certainly wasn't expecting this little music box to become so significant in the proceedings. However, as it has, I will admit, I will admit it into the court record as evidence. All right. Oh, All did right. we know that it was deposited two days before the overcoat? I don't think we oh, had a time. Yeah, no, now. We, did, we did not know that. Okay, that's cool. That's probably very important. That's cool. Uh, let me. Great I guess, I, mean, I, I, I guess it would make sense. You deposit the music box, then negotiate for the disc. He gets the disc and deposits that later. Yeah, yeah. 
Okay, Graydon, let's see your counter. Graydon counter. <laughs> Uh, possible look over information. I mean, I'm sure the actual thing is like something that the Skulkin brothers say. Probably. We didn't. All we did was break in the other night. If we'd known. I uh, love that they're like, yeah. Yeah, I love their animation. Wait, it's go back. Go back good. to Nash. Wah! <laughs> Wah! 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 <laughs> 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 Wah! I'm so sad because. Uh, presumably on the 3DS, the text box is on the lower screen, so you get to see their full faces Wah. instead of it being cut off by the the box. <laughs> that's, that's, Ringo, that's Ringo's fault for being so short. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, hey, I'm a Ringo. Somebody had a really good idea I didn't think about. We should examine the box. Hey, oh, oh, there's a what button. What's going on over here? Push the button. Yo, uh... Oh. Shout out to who was that really quick. Uh, Skep. Thank you, Skep. <laughs> oh. What is it, Runo? I've, I've just noticed something about this music box. It looks like the bottom it, of it opens up as well. It plays Morse. It might be playing Morse code. Ah, <laughs> oh, you're right. Well, come on then. What are you waiting for? Let's open it. All right then, here goes. What the fuck? Is it another one? Look at that. There's another movement on the underside. So, does that mean you can set another disc to play on on play back on this side? Oh. Yes, I think so. And it looks like the two movements are linked together. They're linked. Twist. With a twist. Hmm. So if you had two discs, they would both play back at the same time. Man, see now, man, because this is a cool twist. We're probably not going to get to see the second disc until game two. <laughs> right? And so we'll never find out what it says. I also am like, can't juror number five translate the Morse code for us? Yeah. Yeah. Should we be able to know what that is now? Who would have thought that? That's not me. Yeah. Who'd have thought that there would be a second movement on the underside of the box? And this movement is like the other one. The comb's teeth are the same length. So, this movement also only produces a single tone, like the other one. Yes, it must do. <laughs> it must do. It must do. Except that the length of the teeth on the two combs isn't the same. Okay. So the single tone produced by this movement will be different to the single tone we've already heard. What? But it do. <laughs> Basically, each movement can only produce a single note. But the notes they produce are different. A music box that can only play two tones. Wait a minute, did you say that there's two of them? No. Does that mean I can look at the music box stereoscopically? Look, the music box is T-posing. All right. Uh, wait, 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 wait. So hold on, what does he say about it? The sound produced by the music box aren't even Morse code. Yeah, press that, because that's bull. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of bull. They're not! To anyone with a brain, that would be blatantly apparent on listening to that music box for even a few seconds. Uh, of course, uh, of course. Surely it can't be but that my learned friend is unfamiliar with Morse code. Van Zeex, legitimately, if you tell me right now that you know Morse code, I'll be impressed. I won't even be mad. <laughs> I'll be mad. Ouch. He looks genuinely shocked at my ignorance. Ha <laughs> ha ha! It was me. Oh, no, it wasn't. <clears throat> I would be more than happy to demonstrate the basics for you, sir. A, a lesson? Here in oh, court. Oh, no. We get a Morse code lesson after our stereoscope God lesson. damn it. 
Morse code is a continuous series of two distinct tones. Oh my gosh, it's almost like we just learned the music box is two, can produce uh -huh. two tones. Call me uh -huh. Tommy Two Tones. Oh my tones, you say? <laughs> yes, a short dot and a long dash. By combining those in different ways, you construct letters. I see. For example, this is A, and this is B. But when you listen to the sound produced by this music box, you only hear one tone, don't you? Okay, yeah. But, but it sounds so similar. The rhythm of it is the same in everything. But there's no discernible meaning to this apparently random sequence of sounds. So your assertion is fundamentally flawed. This is not Morse code. No! Think we can just present the <laughs> music box on that statement then? Yeah, I'm hoping so. Really? Just... You shouldn't be so surprised. What did I tell you? That music box is nothing but a worthless piece of scrap. Perhaps you might consider studying your subject matter before casting aspersions into the future. In the future. Ugh. I didn't walk into this courtroom fully understanding Morse code. Yeah. Jackass. <laughs> <laughs> stop. Nothing to say, but stop. <laughs> oh, it's so frustrating, isn't it? Iris? I mean, if the government's secrets were somehow being leaked using the music box, so many other things would slot into place so nicely. Could there still be something I haven't considered? Like maybe there's a button on the other side. <laughs> would it be impossible to use this oh, music wait. box to somehow play back? Yeah, give it a try. I'm betting that Sholmes is gonna show up or somehow we have his like copy of it and we can put them onto that into the backside and play both at the same time. And that gives yeah. us the thing. There's, there's still every possibility that this music box was instrumental in the leaking of government secrets. That's the belief of the defense at least. Objection. Does it please you in some way, my Nippity's friend, to repeat the same line of argument ad infinitum? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's, already, it's already been established that to be Morse code, two tones are required. Dots and dashes. Yes, I'm well aware of that. Then what? Chicken butt. You what, mate? <laughs> well, it would appear the defense has a hypothesis to put forward. You had better present your idea at once, counsel. How do you propose that this music box, which appears to produce only a single tone, okay, here we go. could have been used to cipher secret messages into Morse code? Oh, great. Look at that. Push the Look button. Wait. Oh, okay. Oh, you have to push present. Oh, no, okay. Sorry. Oh, I think we maybe had to open it anyway. Yeah. So. Present. Got it. Got, Got it. it. By Good the way, just, gracious. To, just, to be, just to be certain, you guys can't hear my dog snoring really loudly, can you? Wait, I might have just heard it. Everybody, wait. Everybody shut up. Everybody shut up. You guys hear that? No. Oh. Not really. No, no, I can't. All right, good. I wish I, I wish I could, honestly. I'm sad. No, it's oh, it's so annoying. She snores so freaking oh, loud. Okay, now I, I heard it. I heard, I heard a little like. I think, I think, I think your your microphone will gate it, but if you're talking at the same time, we can hear it. Okay. Yeah. That's really funny. Yeah, it's she not. It's it's truly not bad. So loud. <laughs> <laughs> talking about you. Ninety. Ninety. Ah, spaghetti. Middle of the hallway, too. <laughs> That's <Aww>. so good. <laughs>
can't sleep sometimes because of you. <laughs> oh, but she sleeps great. Yeah. <laughs> Good gracious! Uh, what am I looking at here? It's the music box, my lord. Oh, that's what it looks like. Okay. Another movement on the underside of the music box. What? It appears, my lord, that the two movements are linked together. In other words, you can put two discs into this music box, and the sounds of both will play back at the same time. Good heavens! As the court has heard, Morse code comprises of two tones, a short dot and a long dash. With a second disc in place, this music box could be used to generate Morse code and convey a message. This is beyond a joke. I'm sorry? This poor excuse for a lawyer has absolutely no evidence to support his claims. Though, of course, if my learned friend were able to present the court with the second disc, that would be another matter. Well? Uh... Shall I come through you? Please? I... I... can't. At the moment. And may I remind the court that as the witness has pointed out, he was not the one in the omnibus with McGilded two months ago, striking a deal over the disc or discs. Indeed, that was Mr. Mason, the brickmaker. You know, I shouldn't have to produce the other discs. You know, I'll just realize that, yeah, this thing can definitely yeah. play Morse code. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. I had nothing whatsoever to do with it. Uh. Though it has holes, I must admit the argument presented by the defense has much promise. I believe the cross-examination should continue. The link between Graydon and the victim of the omnibus case must be there somewhere. I haven't found it yet. Oh, look at the court record on the, the name of the victim. Because I feel like Mason had a different name or something. I don't know. We can look at it in a second. I don't think so. Uh, uh, yeah, look at that. We looked at it. Yeah, Mason, yeah. Mason Milverton. Milverton. Oh. I don't think that proves anything, does it? I feel like that's going to be important. Yeah. We think Ashley Graydon's real name is Milverton. If this dude has a second fake name in this case, I'm going to be pissed. That's oh, yeah. I think, I think he absolutely does. <laughs> uh -huh. Oh, dear. It looks like you need to give your argument more strength, you know? Ow. You will reiterate your testimony if you please, Mr. Graydon. If I must, though I maintain exactly what I did at the start of this pointless cross-examination. Press Brickmaker. Um, okay, so definitely I mean, press, press that. This. Yeah. yeah. Cause Cause that, that's that, that, that directly relates to what Wes was exactly just saying. That's true, that's true. Uh, uh, which I do think will probably come up important later. I don't know if we're going to have what we need here, but... Mm -hmm. So two months ago in that omnibus, McGilded killed the, brook the brickmaker and stole the disc. Mr. Mason was a single man. A loser. <laughs> <laughs> With almost nothing to his name. I, Van Zeeks, get all of the dick and other things that women have. <laughs> you know, whatever those are. I know, because I get them all the time. <laughs> it seems he lived in an artisan quarter some years ago, but people I have remember. a large quantity of the sex. <laughs> <laughs> but people there remember little about him. That doesn't make much sense, though, does it? How would a humble brickmaker come to acquire secret government information? How indeed. There must have been somebody else involved behind the scenes in all of this. In all of this. 
somebody who acquired the disc and gave it to Mr. Mason in order to take it to the meeting with Mr. McGilded and negotiate a deal. Dear me. You may have it in for me, sir, but I assure you, I have far more class than that. An old brickmaker from an artisan quarter with this well-to-do and this well-to-do communications officer. Hmm, if only I could find some evidence to link the two of them together. Okay, yeah, it's definitely that his last name is Milberton. If you have nothing more to add on that note, let us return to the witness testimony. Yeah, but how do we get Prove him to that? say that? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, hmm. Yeah. I don't think we can prove that connection yet. Yeah. I mean, I guess just yeah. press some other stuff. Yeah, see if we can get something out of the Stalkins. Like Mr. Graydon told you to, you mean. Oh, maybe they know his real name. Yeah, they might be like, yeah, this Milverton guy. Yeah. <laughs> this Milverton guy. <laughs> Why do you keep calling him Graydon? <laughs> That's it, yeah. Who else, eh? Silly me thought he was just popping over for a natter after all them years. But the rotter had a dodgy job for us. Eh, hey, Ash? Let me stop you there, Mr. Skulkin. After all them years, you say? It's after all those years. <laughs> Do you mean to tell me that Mr. Graydon is an acquaintance of yours? We're the sociable kind of baddies, you know? Sure. Let's say Graydon's an old China. Uh, look at this animation! Oh, look at him! His little yeah, cheeks! Right. I saw oh, that. I just want to pitch him. He's so cute. That's really good. Excuse me! Excuse me! Is something wrong, Mr. Skulkin? I? No, not you, the other one. The Where? other Mr. Skulkin. Where? <laughs> what? Who, me? I was just having fun playing with me cheeks. No, the other Mr. Skulkin. <laughs> oh, yes. That's right. Sorry about that. I mean, <laughs> shit. No, the other Mr. Skulkin. Look at the judge. Who, me? What? <laughs> How did you know? No, the other Mr. Skulkin. Look at Iris. Who, me? <laughs> no, no, you don't get to come back another episode. <laughs> When your brother was testifying just now, he said something that seemed to cause you to react. Oh, I was just remembering the old days, that's all. Back when we used to call him by his real name. <laughs> when we used we to used make bricks with his dad. I <laughs> 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 Milverton. Oh, we made so you. many bricks together. <laughs> <laughs> Me, us... Mason Milverton and Ashley Milverton. <laughs> In that order. Also, Chrono Wizard, very good Spaceballs reference. Yeah, yeah. I'm surrounded by Skulkins. <laughs> Yo! We used to have a right old laugh together way back when. Together? With Mr. Graydon, you mean? All right, I have to croissant it. Did. Zvali, he means me. Look at me, Skalkin. <laughs> That's God very good. It. Thank you, croissant. Yeah, with Ash. I mean, you look at him now at his fancy whistling flute, and you wouldn't add him and eat it. But when he was younger, he was from the poor part of town, just like us. Where do you keep getting All these right, fruits from? <laughs> Is that so? The same place that guy gets his fish and chips. <laughs> the food dimension. <laughs> mm -hmm. But he was always a leery one. He had the brains. He had the savvy. Always coming up with smart ideas like you would never have gone through. Our, what Like what would never have gone through our head. God blimey, ain't that oh the God. truth? Remember Milverton and Skulkin's milk run? Son of a bitch. <laughs> 
Where would we be without these two guys? Honestly, they're the best. No amount of investigation can give us as much information as these guys just willingly give us on their own. This is ridiculous. Uh, incredible. Who needs an investigation segment when you have these fucking <laughs> bronies? Oh my god. That was a cool guy. Save it until after the trial. Your reminiscing has no place in this courtroom. No, no, let them keep going. They'll probably incriminate him more if we yeah, just let him. Right, uh, and neither does your fruit. <laughs> Whoa. Zeke's, don't be don't homophobic. Don't bring the fruit into this. <laughs> Oi, the geezer asked us a question, didn't he? And we was answering. Yeah, we ain't done nothing wrong. Well, Nevertheless, the court is not prepared to accompany you on your trip down memory lane. Counsel, can we turn our attention back to the testimony, please? I don't know. Could that sentimental yes. story be relevant yes. somehow? Yes. <laughs> yes. Dear God, yes. <laughs> My lord. Yes, counsel. Now I know this is gonna blow your fucking mind. <laughs> <laughs> is my I... bean about to be freaked? Now don't laugh, but this man's name isn't Edgar Benedict, and it's <laughs> also not Ashley Graydon. <laughs> the brother's last You've sentimental statement. You've gotta be freaking my bean. <laughs> the you brother's. Be... <laughs> the brother's last sentimental statement could hold vital information relating to the case. <laughs> his real name. This is to say. Yeah. It's real. His real name is Ken Dingley. <laughs> Who is Ken Dingley? Because that was a real person. Uh, fucking yeah, it was Acro. Oh yeah, it was Acro. God, it was. Silly Fuck, name. That sucks. Uh... I was thinking of Ken Bone, the guy in the red sweater that <laughs> got mild notoriety for whatever. Town hall meeting. He answered a question. <coughs> oh yeah! Wow, what a reference. Yeah, Ken Bone. Where is he at now? Oh, uh, he kind of got canceled, actually. Oh, uh, he got boned. Yeah. He got Ken boned. Mm -hmm. I will permit. I will permit the brothers to supplement their testimony with that detail. Briefly, I hasten to add. Say no more! A skulking's never skulking! Yeah. Milverton is skulking's milk run. God, them were good days. Uh, people were saying press this statement. It. Apparently it's very funny, so we will do that. <sighs> I'm sure I'm going to regret asking, but what exactly was that? Some kind of business? Just a little scheme we had going back when we was youngsters. A bit of fun, really. Delivering fresh milk to the locals. That's what it was all about. That sounds alarmingly legitimate. There must be a catch. <laughs> uh, I suppose since we're here, I should ask them to elaborate. But on what? What? Oh, maybe we have to say it. Uh, Is the business name... I mean, I mean, if we want to say the silly thing, the business yeah, model. Yeah, let's but... see what the business model was, and then we can go back and change it. So, how did your little business work, exactly? Well, every morning down our way, the milkman would come with his cart to deliver milk, see? If you stuck your empties out your front door, he would leave you them full again, right? So, we swooped in on the action got people to sign up with us. We promised to deliver milk for half the price of the other geezers doing it. People couldn't wait to sign on the dotted line. We were raking it in, we were. So, did you live on a dairy farm or something? Gordon Bennett, Gordon Ramsay, <laughs> are you off your rocker? We had nothing. We were too poor to ever farm. Right. Nah, what we had going on was simple once you had the idea. You're taking milk from the other guy and just selling it, yeah. 
we just switch them over, see? Our customers empties with the full ones from anyone who wasn't on our books. A, do a doddle, right? I think you meant to say a diddle, and that's a crime. <laughs> <laughs> It was just an armless bit of fun, that's all. Were you taking people's arms? Milking the general public in <laughs> such a fashion is most certainly not armless, as you put it. <laughs> well, it was. It was him what come up with the idea. Ash is the evil genius. You mean Mr. Graydon? Yeah. Ash always had his head in a book when we was growing up. Said he was going to get himself an edumation. Uh, get out of the slum we lived in. Cool, we all ragged him about that, didn't we? Told him we, he was soft in the head to even think it. But look at him now. He's only gone and become a blinking com... com... A c communication officer, ain't he? <laughs> A communications officer, Mr. Skulkin. Sholmes and Wilson's milk run. Iris? No, Iris! Don't even <laughs> think about it! <laughs> That's good. That's good. All of a sudden, we seem to be up to our necks in a, matter, a serious matter of national security. Although all this talk about the about interception of secret government messages is still just conjecture at this stage. It would explain a number of things, though, wouldn't it? <clears throat> the negotiation Ginny overheard on the Omnibus two months ago, and the break in at Winterbanks. But the trouble is, it wasn't Mr. Graydon in the Omnibus with Mr. McGilded. No, that was Mr. Mason, the brickmaker who was so horribly murdered. Hmm. If only there was some link between the two men somehow. Thank you for the hint, Iris. <laughs> no, Mr. Graydon's testimony seems to be as watertight as ever. I wonder if the key to us making headway with the cross-examination here is the brothers. Oh, could be those two brothers. But is his but is his testimony milk tight? Uh, do we need to repress that to get the yeah. name of the the name part? Yeah, yeah. Uh, if we know government no, secrets, no return in Skulk and Milk Runs. Uh, oh, yeah. Press. Let's speak through this. <laughs> Tell us about the name. <laughs> What's the name? <laughs> so this business was just a bit of fun, you say? And it was you, yourselves, and Mr. Graydon. Uh, just yourselves and Mr. Graydon involved. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> that's why we definitely said Graydon. <laughs> Milverton and Skulkin's Milk Run, was it? Yeah, that's it. And where did the Milverton part come from? Oh, right. I thought a clever clogs like you would have worked it out, like that one out. Oh, I think he just talked. Yeah, he cut him off. Enough of this. How much longer are we expected to listen to this drivel? I'll cut you off. Let me guess. You don't accept anything these two witnesses are saying. Tell me, why is it that it was only after the mention of the name Milverton that you decided to interject? B because I... Well... It weren't the happiest of homes that one came from. Yeah, his old man was struggling for money so much, his wife walked out on him. Oh, no, now I feel terrible for Mason. We made <laughs> jokes about this. <laughs> Wait. She she took the name Graydon then, see? Look at Nash's pair when, when Ringo's about to talk here. Oh, fuck, they put it away. They definitely, oh, did it go back to being Yeah, they definitely just taken out got of rid of the bite. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. They're divine beings. But Ash will always be Milverton to us. 
Milverton. So that used to be your surname, did it? Of course not! This is all bunkum. I've been a great and since the day I was born. Do you really think you can rely on the testimony of these two thieves, hmm? You're a communications officer attached to the civil service. As such, your personal details will have been thoroughly checked at the time of your appointment. It would be a very simple matter indeed to subpoena those records, Mr. Graydon. Ah! Well, it would appear that Mr. and Mr. Skulkin's testimony has been reliable for once. You were born Ashley Milverton, then. Is that correct? Very well. Yes. So Ashley Graydon was once Ashley Milverton. That information could change things and could turn out to be extremely important. Great. Now time to get his ass. We've already read this. Yeah, I wonder if now we just do what we did earlier. No, I think now, because he has a line that's like, how would I be connected to him? Oh. Yeah, okay. there's all, yeah, there's always line three. Yeah. Uh, I, have I have no, no relation, relation to the man. man. Wow, it's so crazy that you share the exact same last name, though, buddy. But we can't present profiles. Uh, we can present the McGillity case. Oh, cases. present that. Yeah, that's yeah. a good point. Bubba Booey! Mr. Ashley M Milverton? <laughs> Tell me, why did you try to hide your former name from the court? Apart from it sounds silly. <laughs> because I haven't gone by that name for years. It means nothing to me. No, I don't think that's the real explanation at all. The truth is, you had a reason to hide that name. Explain yourself, please, counsel. I have here the notes from the omnibus case, my lord. And as we all know, the victim, the man who we now understand to have been negotiating with McGilded. Yes, uh, Mr. Mason, the brickmaker. That's right. Only Mason wasn't his surname at all. It was his given name. His full name was Mason <laughs> Milverton. Mil... Milverton? D do you mean to say, saints alive? Mr. Ashley Milverton, is it not the case that the brickmaker Mr. Mason Milverton was your father? Uh, I, I don't... As I believe I mentioned earlier, your family history will have been thoroughly checked when you join the civil service. And it really would take no time at all for the court to subpoena those records. Uh. The truth is, you have been illegally acquiring high co highly confidential government information and selling it, selling it on to McGilded in collaboration with your father. <laughs> that was cool. Spin move. You can't catch me when I do my spin move. The new facts and evidence unveiled by the cross-examination of this witness all come together to reveal the truth. The, the truth, you say? That you collaborated with your father, Mr. Mason Milverton, in illegal dealings with Magnus McGilded. By dint of this music box, you mean, Council? Yes. Stealing information being sent in secret government communications and selling it on to McGilded. Mr. Graydon concocted this elaborate scheme of using two music box discs to encode the information. As presumably a safety measure against the information falling into the wrong hands. 
And a very effective one. I shouldn't have given the scheme any credence whatsoever. But the deal with McGilded went sour, and the brickmaker met his end. Yes. Before he was arrested, McGilded managed to temporarily dispose of the stolen disc at the pawnbroker. Then, having learnt of the situation, you appeared at Windebanks two days ago. In an, in, an, in an attempt to recover the two articles McGilded had placed in pawn there. But that attempt failed. One of the discs was seized by the police, and the other you never found. So that same night, you enlisted the help of the Skulkin brothers and broke into the pawnbrokery. This time, determined to recover the second disc... Uh, are you suggesting that the second disc was inside the music box? Eh? We, we never knew nothing about that. On the night that Mr. Windebank was killed, you uh. went cross-eyed. <laughs> <laughs> the intruder to the pawnbrokery touched one item and one item alone. The music box. Touch. As rather ingeniously demonstrated using the two prints from the security camera, indeed. So. Yes, it's really quite magnificent. Shut the isn't fuck it? up. So, <laughs> the question that naturally begs answering is this Why was that the only. Uh, why was only that one article disturbed? The answer is obvious, because it contained the second disc, which the intruder was desperate to retrieve. Since, if it were to fall into the hands of the police, it would be proof of high treason. Nerd. Well, Mr. Graydon? Do you, do you deny that all of this actually began on that fateful night two months ago? I... I... Oh, I refuse shit. to accept any of this nonsense. Look at his arm. Oh, oh hey, look. We gotcha. We gotcha, you mother Milverton. <laughs> Sir... There appears to be blood seeping through the sleeve of your jacket. What? Ah! Two nights ago, we know that three shots were fired at the scene of the crime in Windebank's pawnbrokery. One took the life of the pawnbroker himself. One struck the pouch around Mr. Sholmes's waist. And the final bullet... struck the calendar on the wall of the shop, having first pierced the arm of one of the intruders. Mr. Graydon, that wound on your arm that you seem to be trying to hide, it's a bullet wound, isn't it? He's got you now, me old china. <laughs> Time to call it quits and croak, I reckon. I love that they're just like, you're fucked, my guy. <laughs> I know. I know we've been childhood friends, but uh, yeah, you're done for, dude. <laughs> Don't acknowledge my presence there under any circumstances whatsoever. Those were my terms, remember? And I paid you handsomely to comply. Clearly, I was a fool to think I could trust some common back slum thieves <sighs> fine I admit it I was there in Windebanks that night I paid this pair ten guineas to accompany me and as you've noticed I sustained an injury in the course of my adventures but that is all I admit to nothing more Stealing government secrets, negotiating with Mr. McKilded. 
Stop. Just because I've been shot doesn't mean I can't bust out my super cool moves. As God is my witness, I'm sure I recall nothing of the sort. He's not going to go down without a fight. Not until I can show hard evidence, yeah, but I suppose. He's done a lot of lying. Yeah. <laughs> Nevertheless, the defense has now established a crucial fact. Which is... Well, we know that one bullet was fired from each of the two firearms we have in evidence. The bullet from the Skulkin brother's gun hit the pouch around Mr. Sholmes's waist. And the bullet from Mr. Winderbank's gun clearly must have been of the one that clearly must have been the one that caught Mr. Graydon in the arm. Indeed, it must. Uh, we can rule out the possibility that the man shot himself. No, actually we can't. If you had you met the guy, <laughs> we couldn't rule that possibility out. And that leads us to only one conclusion. Mr. Windebank was shot by a third gun, which can only have been fired by the third intruder. Goodness. I mean, yeah, I like that we just spent like so much time on this side thing. We're like, oh, by the way, he did kill Windebank, and we can confirm that now. That's right, Mr. Graydon. The only person who could have possibly shot Mr. Windebank that night is you! I mean, not the only person, but... <laughs> um, where is he going with this one? You little upstart. You made a grave mistake when you summoned me here. What? What? What's that supposed to mean? Yes, as you rightly say, I was there at the pawnbrokers. I did my best to hide the fact, naturally. I had no intention of ruining the distinguished career I built for myself at the communication station. But did the thought never cross your mind? Did you never consider the possibility? What? What do you mean? What thought? What possibility? The possibility that if I was there at the scene, I may have witnessed the crucial moment. You see, this makes me a key witness in this case, and I have my hands firmly around the neck of your client. What? No, my guy, you can't. Uh, are you suggesting... You me? can't. I saw it all. I saw the very moment that pickpocket girl pointed the gun at that poor defenseless pawnbroker and shot him. God damn it. You... What? Come on. Uh, order! 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 Well, I... Uh... It would seem we are finally entering the last act of this theatrical trial. You're fucking telling me. Mr. Graydon. You've lied constantly and already admitted to several crimes. N n no one should believe anything you say yeah. for literally even a microsecond. No. I, you I mean, like... The most credible you, witness. <laughs> you, you look so damn guilty, it's... It's not even funny at this point. I, I think we can all agree you did it and go home. Yeah. <laughs> yes. I trust you are fully aware of the implications here. But unfortunately, this game doesn't understand how the concept of pacing works. <laughs> so somehow this is going to last longer than zero seconds. Yeah. Uh-huh. If it is shown that your claim is false... You will have incriminated yourself as the killer. He's already incriminated himself in like yeah, three what? other crimes. Like, I think this is the least of his worries at this point. I mean, it's still probably the most of his worries, but like... I mean, yeah, incriminating himself in three other crimes is the least of his worries. Uh -huh, yeah. Shit, yeah. Oh, I understand fully. Then I must ask you to give your formal testimony once more. 
You will explain to the court precisely what you saw at the moment the defendant allegedly shot the victim. Nothing would give me greater pleasure. Ooh. Folks, that is going to do it for Ace Attorney with an actual lawyer. Again, if you like this, you can catch it in many more streams on twitch.tv slash save data team. And if you'd like to support us, head over to patreon.com slash save data team. It really helps us out a lot, especially with YouTube de demonetizing these videos. Maybe, hopefully that doesn't happen for next week's. So we'll see. Uh, but either way, we'd really appreciate it. But until next time, court is adjourned. Uh, James Strongheart is a mascot. He's a little lion. Oh, I mean, uh, perfect animal choice. It's great. Yeah, yep. that's really cute. Uh, we've got Van Zeeks. This is awesome. Very yeah, cool. I love the like the flags in the background too. Yeah, the coat of arms mm -hmm. looking nice thing. Yeah, I imagine when he's a home alone, he just like swings his sword around. He's not actually trained with it. Yeah, I was gonna say badly. But he just he makes like whoosh whoosh sounds while he does it. <laughs> Take that, foreigners. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we've got an older Unesco designer on thirty to thirty-five. Oh, that's cool. Mm, yeah, I, I really like this one. Yeah. Yeah. Should I grow out a ponytail? I like the, I like the pony. <clears throat> mm -hmm. uh, decided to doodle a bunch of No Deal Sex Phoenix. So here's the little art guy. Yo, again, I love like the the splotches of paint in different places yeah. is very good. It's very cute. Uh huh. Oh god, how do side profiles work? <laughs> uh, Val, hello. I have arrived with a lit all comic. I think Egg and the Skullkins are funny. So hey, what if the bros acted as wingmen? <laughs> Oh boy. So you want to impress someone all romantic like? Ain't too hard, bro. Women like to be held tight and told you'll never leave them. <laughs> Gotta give her gifts too. Girls love gifts. As long as they don't find out you stole them. Unless she's a gal who's into that, of course. Well, I never met a gal who likes Steven, sit for that young diver Ash met at the pond brokery. <laughs> well, she's too young for us, so she don't count. Ah, that's right, bruv, she don't count. <laughs> with all due respect to you two, I should tell you, I'm in love with a man. <laughs> Go. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong at all. Many women ain't so different anyway. Just be yourself, or whatever they say, eh? Be yourself. You two are no help whatsoever. <laughs> hey, Nash. You think Ash ever had a crush on one of us? Sure is possible, bruv. But I suspect we probably ain't his type. <laughs> That's really good, Val. Uh, the fucking, the bottom right, like, anime panel is so, like, you nailed that style perfectly. It's really funny. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Yen, the people all around Ryu are very pro-weapons in the, well, very pro-weapons in the courtroom. And Beric doesn't know how to talk to people. Before we go back inside... Please, tell us what happened here. I wanted to see if Iris, Iris's mantle script was really there, so I just asked old Pop real polite if I could see. Polite? But you were holding a gun. How sweet of you, Jenny, and you were so nice. But is that really nice, to ask that way? Why, of course. People appreciate clear and confident communication. Uh, uh... Shring. Greetings, prosecutor. Please be nicer to me today, or else. Sorry. <laughs> admit you read my novels, please. Oh, I, admit <laughs> you read my novels, please and thank you. Are you trying to bully me? <laughs> you have to swing with more confidence, partner. Now get back in the wardrobe. The cold shoulder again. <sighs> I'm just not fierce enough. What would Cosima say? Be nicer. I call him friend and learned every other sentence. What more does he want from me? <laughs> I saw this earlier, but yeah, the idea that Barak von Zeeks thinks that he's being nice this entire thinks time. Thinks that he's being nice. He is really can't comprehend. <laughs> Doesn't realize he, he's being horrifically racist. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he seems so sad, 
But I just said his story was cool, and I called him bro. <laughs> cool story, bro. Uh, cool so story, good. bro. Oh, that's so good. And uh, Pharaoh meow turnabout. Okay, literally, there's no way Shelly was not holding shoe. Literally, he couldn't have meowed so close to the radio transceiver otherwise. Just saying. <laughs> Oh, wait, hold on. You know what? You know what this is a call for. Oh, shit. Do you have it at the ready? Now then, if you'll excuse me, if someone were to trace this signal back to me, it would be quite troublesome. Meow. <laughs> I don't um, know what to say. Mystic Maya. Mystic Maya. Edgeworth. Hmm? Did, did you hear that? At the end of the transmission. Meanwhile, in, guard Meanwhile in the on-guard mansion. <laughs> Shu, I believe I had told you you are not allowed to meow while I am making high-stakes calls. <laughs> meow. <laughs> That's really cute. <laughs> uh, Saxy with uh, what is hey. it? Judge Jigoku's carafe. Part one. What's he doing? His best or always darkest before the dawn of justice. Starting off with our main man, I drew inspiration from the from the drink menus uh, for the Ace Attorney Collab Cafe that came out with his espresso and cola combo. The generous splashes of Kahlua and vanilla vodka to make it no longer suitable for people under the legal drinking age. Too bad for you, Ryan. Then again, his shifty, bugged out eyes in the court tell me he probably needs to lay off the caffeine anyway. Uh, I would like to have used the sword prick for his garnish, sword pick for his garnish, but alas, the black bamboo skewer, skewer will have to do. Lemon twist not only adds a nice hint of citrus, but also represents the medallion on the lawyer's armband. I 100% got that as soon as I saw it. Yeah. No, it's really good. And again, like making it like a long, a, a, a Collins glass dark beverage yeah. is, is really good. Yeah, also, that seems very easy drinking too. Yeah, like a uh, espresso martini almost. Serve on the yeah. rocks. It sounds good. Uh, potato, yeah, here it is in all her glory. Notice the skin tone and the vibrant colors of the background. Oh, yeah, and the painting was fine, I guess. I finished this masterpiece in time for the DL. I mean, Christmas. And, Wes, here's the meme you wanted. Wait, wait, wait. First off, yeah. we got a push with you. Very good. Yeah. Incredible. Uh, and then, yeah, the meme of... Uh... <laughs> Corporate needs you to find the differences between this picture and this picture. They're the same picture. <laughs> Uh, infamously dorky, who can judge? Who can the judge trust anymore? Everyone lies. <laughs> <laughs> You're tearing me apart, Beric. Oh, hi, Ryan. <laughs> I appreciate a good room reference. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> drew my favorite Susato sprite to try and get out of art block. <laughs> also, I appreciate the uh, the meme inspiration. <laughs> And yo, this uh, Susato is so cute. Uh, yeah. I love it. Yeah, yeah, I, that is I love a very that sprite good one. too. Yeah, when she like swings up this into a little it. bouncy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, KJ Rafik, uh, I hope a gif is fine. I mean, it's totally fine. What a normal day in Baker Street would look like. Whoa, yo, this is gorgeous. Wow, this needs this wow. needs like this needs to be the like video portion of a youtube video that's like just playing music ace, yeah no just like lo-fi ace attorney yeah. beats to study and find people accused find people guilty of murder too <laughs> that's so good yeah this is awesome even the the, the tail animation on on uh, not shoe uh waga is so good yeah Heck yeah no this is great i could like 100 awesome. i see this being a lo-fi thing 100 mm -hmm. mm -hmm. easy yeah, that's, this is dope. That's awesome. Thank you, KJ Rapic. Uh, God damn, I saw. I think I think this was you that posted it in the chat to Buddhist Man. I almost called this joke out because it was really funny. Yeah. With hot Milvertons in your area. Click here now. Fucking. Hey, big. I clicked it. It didn't do anything. <laughs> it just made the image bigger. It just made the image <laughs> yeah. bigger. What the hell? I've been lied to. The, I was the link to isn't working. <laughs> to Pudis, man, post it again, but post it and make sure the link works this time. 